It's Tuesday, it's sunny. It's Port Stewart, the best place in the world. Tonight, I'm heading down to Mullock Call to watch Port Stewart against Lisburn Distillery in a Niffle uh, Premier Intermediate League game. I think that's what they call the division now. Um, it's a pretty meaningless game. Uh, it's an end of season game. Uh, but, it's a game of football. All right, first of all, Port Stewart. Port Stewart were formed in 1968, Port Stewart FC. Their nickname is the Seahawks. And um, they've never won a major trophy. They've only played at intermediate level. Uh, a few times made it into the sort of division below the top flight. Actually played in the team that played in that there. Um, we finished bottom in the league. Um, playing against good teams like teams... Ballyclare Comrades and teams like that, Bangor, um, Loch All. So teams that have all had sort of top flight experience and they just sort of recently gone out of the top league. But, um, yeah, Lisburn Distillery is a totally different kettle of fish. I did a wee bit of research earlier. We hear this here, right? Lisburn Distillery were formed in 1880. They were a Belfast team, um, played sort of West Belfast, Grosvenor Park. Distillery Street. Um, they played there until 1971 and according to Wikipedia the trouble sort of ruined that there uh, well, where, where they played at so they moved to a few different grounds and couldn't including Crusaders ground before moving over to I get this right New Grosvenor Stadium Bally Skay which is now the skirts of Belfast near Lisburn and they then changed their name in 1999 to Lisburn Distillery because of their proximity to Lisburn. So there you go. Now we to hear this here. This is mental. Lisburn Distillery, Distillery as they were known, they played in the European Cup against Benfica and they drew three all. Lisburn, sorry, Distillery drew three all with Benfica in a European Cup match in 1963 mind is blowing. So just to blow the mind even more, in 1971-72 in the Cup Winners Cup, they played in the first round against Barcelona. Well, yes, the year that they played Barcelona in the Cup Winners Cup, they got beat 7-1 in aggregate. Rangers won their European trophy, their only European trophy in that season, in that cup. So Lisbon actually played Barcelona in the first round. Rangers won that cup and they won the final in Barcelona. That's a crazy world. So what has happened to Lisbon Distillery? Well, Lisbon Distillery were flying their top flight team until uh, 2012. Hold on here, we to see if I've got it. Uh, 2013. So they were struggling. They brought in Tommy Wright as manager. Tommy Wright had them absolutely flying. Then Tommy Wright left and went to St. Johnson. And then after he left, well, they fell apart and they've never recovered. But if we hear this here, right? Lisbon Distillery are a proper football club. They have won the Irish League six times. One of the times was shared. Haven't looked up who they shared it with, but um, yeah. They've won the Irish Cup 12 times. They won the Irish League Cup once. That's when Tommy Wright was in charge in 2010-11. Um, what else? 14 County Antrim Shields and then there's a whole load of other trophies. The Stillery are a big team. What are they doing in the Intermediate League football? Wow. Just while I'm walking down here. Um, I grew up here. <laughs> right here. Sounds silly, right? But down there is Ardmore Drive. And uh, yeah, I grew up there. I lived there until I was sort of 17 years old. And this here lane that I'm walking down, have we just hung out around here? I think I showed it in another vlog about Ardmore Drive being up there and Malka Call being down there. But I'm coming at the pitch from a different angle, and this is the lane. Ah, uh, some crack is here. Um, yeah, the memories come flooding back. What a place. And here we are, Port Stewart FC. Okay. 
All right, we're at Port Stewart Football Club here, and this is Davy. Davy Morrow, he's been at the club since as long as I remember. And I was here, what, 15 years ago? Maybe 15, more? You're right. Davy, what's your role at Port Stewart? My role, my role, I, I, my role at Port Stewart Football Club, I do the turnstiles, I help the guys around the club, I help to run the bar and things, cut the grass and everything, sort of dog's body. Why do, you, call why, it. why do you do it, Davy? That's just for, I mean, because I want to help the Port Stewart Football Club, you know, and that's the way I think that it's just a hobby to me. We're going to win the night, David. Two one. Who won the night? Got Ivan here, and Ivan is a distillery legend. Ivan, where's your association with the club come from? My grandfather and father. Did they play for? No, they didn't. They ran the club, did they? What they do? They were just supporters. Uh huh. They still they used to have a a manager's house up at the top of the Armour Road in Belfast uh -huh. and my father used to clean the windows of the manager's house uh -huh. and they used to discuss the games every couple of weeks over a wee cup of tea. The manager was Morris Tadman and George Easton in the 60s. Uh -huh. yeah. And this is when they played at in Grosvenor Park. West Belfast? Yes, yep, yep, yep. Can, do you have any memories of the sort of 70s when they had to move out of there? Uh, they, weren't, they weren't nice memories, but as I say, I saw them win the Irish League at Grosvenor Park uh -huh. and they beat Linfield 4-2. Yeah. And when I was walking down there, I was looking at the history and I was reading that they played Barcelona. That's right, yes. And, and Benfica year, as well. The year they played Barcelona in the Cup Winners' Cup, yeah. Rangers won the Cup Winners' yes, Cup. Yes, well, yeah. At Barcelona's ground. At Barcelona's ground, ground yes. That? That's unreal. I know. That's crazy. I was looking at the history and I'm like, yes. what, what has happened? And I kept on saying, Lisburn distillery. But what's happened? The distillery, where did it all go wrong? Well, the manager was sacked 14 years ago. Who was that? Paul Kirk. Uh -huh. And through that, they lost a lot of sponsorship. And all of a sudden, they found out that they owed a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And they had to sell the ground to pay their debts. And they so lost sponsorship and all. Through... Uh, they had to sell the ground, didn't they? Yeah, they sold the ground, yeah, at Boy Sky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, what's the future hold? We don't know. There's it's just we. What you see is what. That, that, that's it, you know. Will the distillery ever be in the top flight again? Unless a millionaire comes in. Uh, Kenny <laughs> Bruce type person. Yeah, it's just something like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, look. Good luck tonight. Yes, well, and I take credit to those boys out there, which have stuck with a story this past four or five years. Uh -huh. But usually, when there was players here. When the end of the season went, they went too, mm -hmm. and I, I, I can only but pay them a lot of credit for staying. Mm -hmm. I just, I think it's very sad the way it's well, gone. Well, just whenever I was looking at, you know, like the history. Twelve years ago, yes. you've won the league cup. Yes, yes, I was uh, there. Tommy Wright. That's right. Charge. Yep, yep, yep. And now yep. you're an intermediate team. That's right. Correct. You know, like, yes. It's, it's crazy. It's sort of similar to Bangor, isn't it? That's you right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. That'll do us. So. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever done watching a poor shirt game. Brian, free for a fiver. Happy days. Just stand and watch the game. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Good Sam, well done, Tuffy. Orange is good. Work back in, Lou. Work back hard. Work back hard.
Half time here at Mark Hall, it's nil nil. Um, game of a few chances, keep me a couple of decent saves, but the pitch is terrible and the ball's not moving. Well, off the pitch, it's brilliant. Boys are fighting each other and just slabbering the sidelines and all. You don't get this here at the, the top flight, so ah, that's a good crack. I'm gonna just film the managers in the second half fighting with each other. You know, happy days. Here we go, second half's about to begin. Random Johnny! Oh. 
I don't know where the keeper saved that or where he just hit the post. He he can't have because it's a bad ball. <laughs> Must have just hit the post. <laughs> bad penalty. Me waking up. What? Come back in. You gotta come back in. Come on. What the hell they put shirt? On the Seahawks. Fucking hell! Brilliant pussy! What's that? Two nilly port shirt. Big Zach Power scored them both. He's done fuck all the whole game. <laughs> and he scored two goals. Fair fucks to him, like. He's fighting, he's fighting, he's fighting. Threw a punch at him. Number nine, you out of the game. Fucking talk! Go on, you nut job. Man's got a hat because he's had three attempts and go on three goals. He's done nothing other than that there, my goodness. Hey, hey! Man, a match. Match ball pusher can't afford to give away match balls neither. Get over the door! Oh, see the bubble. See the bubble. <laughs> that patch is a joke, sir. <laughs> oh, he's dead, man. Good run. Good run. Go and beat it. Sorry, sorry. Watch inside. Get on the box, Jack! Get on the box! 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 Oh, here, go, here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Number nine's the start of the show today. Big Zach. There you go. The plan for the night was to get down and sort of get close to the action because I know down at Port Stewart you're literally standing at the side of the pitch. I thought I'd get a wee bit of footage, you know, from the managers and all slabbering. It's always good crack. Character, brilliant at that there in their videos. 
Um, I got more than a bargain for. My God, it's like Bar scored a hat trick. <laughs> Aye, I nearly scored an absolute scream of fourth. Uh, Port Stewart win. It's a meaningless game, but 3 0 victory against Distillery, um, who, by the way, once played Barcelona in the European Cup Winners' Cup. So there you go. Does that mean Port Stewart? Nah, forget that there. Anyway, um, <laughs> that was really good. Enjoyed that. Love Port Stewart. Told you that before. Um, so yeah, cool. Tuesday night vlogging. Brilliant.